Yeah, this is the 1962 Martin 0018. It's got just 10s on it right now, and they're stretching out because I just put them on, which is what you do here. It's got the B string crack here. It's got a little piece here that probably needs to be, you know, spliced back in, and, and the top's coming up a little bit here on the edge, so you need to have it clamped down. Um, I just got an estimate of somewhere, you know, around 100, 150 to get all that done. Personally, I wouldn't do a whole hell of a lot more to this guitar. If you want the action lower, you just need to have somebody sand the bottom of the saddle, and sometimes they'll sand a little bit of the, of, of the bridge to get that down as well. And that's all I would do to it. So. You know, if you want to, you could put a few hundred bucks into this and have you know a really really nice. It really has a great sound. It's rough on, on this. This side's not as rough as the other side, but the other side's rough. It looks like maybe it was all the uh, you know the finish is kind of coming off, which actually makes them sound good because when it when it breaks down like that, the guitar breathes more. But that it's worse on this side, and I'm not sure what that's from. Could have been a moisture thing. It's not as bad here. And the back has got some of those similar kind of lines like that. But this is a player's guitar. I swear. Oftentimes the ones that are you know the most uh, have issues like this often sound the best because the guitar breathes more. So I'm gonna keep this uh, kind of slow or a little short. 